Hello and welcome everybody. My name is Melissa and I'm so glad to be here today with you all. I'm going to show you one of my favorite little protocols for better energy and releasing tension, especially if you're feeling it in your shoulders and back. This is also something that I do before I meditate just to help my mind kind of center and become a little bit more focused, but you can do this for pretty much any reason at any time. And this is also accessible to pretty much anybody who is injury free. As a massage therapist, I see people plagued by neck and shoulder tension every day. And so this is coming from my collection of movements that I teach my clients in order to help them manage their own pain and tension in between sessions. So I really hope that you can benefit from these movements as much as we all have. First, I'm going to walk you through the movements before we do them together, just so that you feel a bit more comfortable when we get started. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna be opening up the whole spine by doing these yummy big circles. And so, let's see, what's a good way to describe this? We're basically trying to move our spine in a circle in between our neck and our lower back. So we're trying to keep you know, our spine straight we're trying to keep our neck over our low back while we do this, but we're really wanting that middle part of our spine to be moving in a circle. And so we'll be doing these in both directions for the same amount of time. So once we've warmed up our spine a little bit, we're gonna move into spinal flexes. And so the first spinal flex we're gonna do, hands on the knees, and that's just a really simple back and forth curving forward, arching back, opening up the chest, stretching out the back of the chest. And for this one, we want our head to stay relatively stable. And so, because the movement really is going to be more in the spine rather than in the neck. And so the second version, we're just moving our arms a little bit. And so when our, when our hands are like this, the movement is more in the middle and lower back. And so when we move our hands to our ankles or shins, whichever is more accessible, uh, this brings the flex more into our upper back and shoulders. So we're just, you know, it's just a little bit of a refinement. Okay, so once our spine is all nice and loose and juicy, we're going to play with our shoulders. We're gonna do two different versions of shoulder lifts. So the first one will be one shoulder at a time. We're gonna be inhaling, exhaling, down. And then we'll do both shoulders together. And so just a tiny structural note on the shoulder lifts. So everybody bring your shoulders forward just a little bit. And we're gonna lift your shoulders up to our ears and roll our shoulder blades onto our back. And so I want your shoulders in this position with your shoulder blades on your back and then focus on using your upper back muscles in between your shoulder blades to do the lifting. I don't want the lift to come from your chest. Your chest muscles are strong enough. And so to get that good relief of pain in our shoulders, we want to be working the weaker muscle group, which are, which are going to be the muscles in between our shoulder blades. So again, forward, up, back and down. Okay. The final movement is the best one, in my opinion. You can, of course, have your own. And so we're gonna lift up our arms so that they are parallel to the ground. And then we're placing our fingers onto our shoulders. So my thumb is on the back of my shoulders and the rest of my fingers are you know, as evenly spread as I can make them. And so we're going to inhale to the left, exhale to the right. Inhale to the left, exhale to the right. And the reason why we're doing this, we're, gonna, we're inhaling to the left because when we're turned this way, our right lung, which is bigger than our left lung, can take in a big inhale. 
And then as we exhale, we're squeezing out that right lung to get a deeper, fuller exhale. All right, we're gonna be doing a minute 30 on each side. Um, on each side or for each exercise, whichever one applies. And please feel free to pause and take a breath if you need to. You can drop your arms, shake it out. If the breath I'm doing, if, if it's too fast, you can always slow down and just do the movements a little bit more slowly. Your sweet spot is your own and it can often change. And so it's okay if you find yourself slowing down or speeding up as you go through these movements. All right, let's get started. You want big, exaggerated inhales and exhales. If you are, you know, you can, as you can probably see, I'm moving around on my hip bones. And that's all right. And it's totally all right if your, if the shapes that you're making look different than mine, because we have very different bodies. while you do this or you can practice having a soft gaze whichever one feels better to you so for example if you're looking for a little bit more of a relaxing session then whichever one feels easiest however sometimes we want to challenge ourselves and if that's the case you can pick whichever eye position makes you the most uncomfortable Okay, so let's come back to center and just take a breath. And now we're going to reverse. Inhaling front, exhaling back. Depending on your speed, feel free to do a full inhale or exhale for each revolution. Again, we're imagining our spine just moving in this big circle. And it's okay if you come out of alignment. What matters is just remembering and coming back to as much of it as you can. we are moving our organs around with a lot of these movements it is better if you haven't eaten a big meal right before this but again if you feel like doing this after you've eaten I think it's better to do the movements than to not do them just maybe take it a little bit more easy all right so coming back to center Let's just breathe. Hmm. And just maybe notice, what did those two movements do for you? Has anything changed? And it's okay if nothing has. All right, so hands on the knees. Um, alternatively, if sitting cross-legged doesn't work for you, you could do this sitting in a chair or sitting on your heels. Um, and you can also modify the heel position with a rolled up blanket or a pillow in between your butt and your feet. All right, so now let's do spinal flexes one. Inhaling front, exhaling as you round. I'll show you a few different speeds. And again, there's no particular value inherent in going faster or slower. It's about what 
will be the most nourishing to your body. So if you're feeling super stressed out and scattered, then a slower movement where you accentuate your breath might be the ticket. However, if you're feeling pretty good and want to boost your energy, after you're feeling warmed up, you can always increase. Raising our chest on the front, rounding our shoulders on the back. We're really using the movement to support the shape of our breath. All right, and so let's just come to center and take a breath before we start the next one. Okay. So we're basically doing the same movement. We're just refining it a little bit. So bringing your hands in front of you in a way that feels comfortable and good. We're gonna do the spinal flex and the movement will be more up into our upper shoulders. And so again, keeping your head as level as you can, let's begin. of this movement, allowing you to get a little bit more mobility in your back. Um, we're going to do alternate shoulders. So again, up to the ears, back and down. We're using our upper back muscles to lift our shoulders. And so since the alignment is kind of persnickety on this one, maybe start slowly the first few times you do that, just so that you can isolate those upper back muscles to make sure you're getting the most benefit. So inhaling up, down. speed up, you can add a bit of a drop. And so as long as that feels good, if you have anything acute in your neck, you might want to go a little bit more gently with this one. And always, always, always stop or slow down if it hurts. muscles start to burn in a way that's uncomfortable, that's okay. That's simply tension moving out of your muscles. If you're starting to approach 
how, especially in a joint, then you really want to do back up. Okay, so now we're basically going to repeat the same movement, just moving both shoulders simultaneously. So inhaling up, down, exhale. This is going to be especially effective for anybody who has that tight, common shoulder pain. Our muscles actually need to actively relax. A chemical reaction happens that engages the muscle, but in order to disengage from that tightened, tense place, it requires a completely different chemical reaction. And so one of the best ways to relax tense muscles is to exercise them. Just remember that burning is tension and pain leaving your body. Some discomfort is okay, but if we start to feel sharp, stabbing pain, we want to back up. And again, you can do this very, very slowly and exaggeratedly, or once you're confident in your alignment, you can pick it up again adding that nice drop. All right, let's just take a minute. You're doing great. We have one more movement to go. So just adjust your seat, get comfortable. If you're sitting cross-legged, you could switch legs or even extend your legs for this one. Okay, so arms are parallel. My fingers are evenly gripping my shoulders. We're going to inhale to the left and exhale to the right. So as you start this movement, really focus on how your lungs feel as you twist. Feeling the openness as you twist to the left and inhale and that squeeze to the right as you exhale. This is also very toning for your arms, especially your triceps. And then as you get more comfortable with the movement, you can stay at this speed, you can go slower, or you can increase your speed. But again, there's no value to going fast or slow if it's not the right motion for you. And so going slow, we get the benefits of a deeper breath, and more awareness of our muscles, and I think a little bit better muscle tone. All right, so coming back to center, relaxing our arms into our lap. Let's take a deep breath. And let's just notice. Just notice. How does your body feel? Is anything different? So from here, this is a really great space to do a meditation or some breath work. If you have any practices that would be benefited by you being in a more grounded, stable place. And of course, this in and of itself could be a meditation where you bring your attention back to your breath or even to perhaps how your upper back is feeling. As long as you have a focus that you're returning to, that makes it a meditation. Thank you so much for joining me. I am just honored that you would spend some time playing along with me. I really hope this has helped you feel better. 
And if you like this video, please check out my other self-care protocols. I have lots of little tricks and tips just like this one. And for even more awesome videos to help you relax, get fit, and feel awesome, check out wellnessplus.tv. Thanks, everybody. I'll see you again very soon. With hundreds of videos that you can stream on virtually any device to help you reduce stress, lose weight, or just improve your health and well being overall. At wellnessplus.tv, we are dedicated to helping you on your health and wellness journey. Join wellnessplus.tv to find hundreds of videos to help you improve the health of your body and your mind. Wellnessplus.tv, get well, feel better.